My name is Mike Alramani. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of how to use Windows Shared Runners on GitLab.com. It's a beta service currently, uh, and it just recently came out. So I quickly spun up a project uh, that walked some people through on how to use CICD for Windows development and build Windows applications that you can then continuously deploy onto Kubernetes clusters. In this example, I'll be showing you how to deploy to a GKE cluster with a Windows worker node. So in this sample project, I've got a readme that walks you through some of the prerequisite steps. Essentially, uh, one of the prerequisites is have a GKE cluster running. What I did was I simply used our GKE integration and under operations under Kubernetes, you can add a Kubernetes cluster and basically walk through the wizard to provision a GKE cluster. One thing to note here is once this cluster is provisioned, you wanna make sure you update your cluster to 1.14 at the very least. So here I've already uh, upgraded to 1.4 uh, in the master node and then as well as my single Linux instance, which is also a prereq for a Windows node pool that I'll talk about in just a second. So I have one Linux worker node, that I've updated to 1.14. The master has been updated to 1.14. And then the second step, uh, after everything has been updated, you want to then create a Windows node pool. And there's a gcloud command associated with that. All that does is it basically attaches a Windows worker node to your GKE cluster as a separate node pool. And that basically allows you to have now two worker nodes and when you've provisioned your GKE cluster, then you can now uh, associate CICD jobs to deploy to it. So let's have a look at our YAML file, our CICD YAML file. Actually, I've got it open in another tab. So here you can see that we've got shared Windows runner tags that you want to be that you want to associate with particular jobs so they can execute in the appropriate runtime environment by the appropriate runner. In this case, we have three tags specified, which we extend in subsequent jobs within stages. So for info, build, test, and package, this is basically giving you some preliminary info of the runtime environment, the Docker daemon, this is actually compiling your code, testing it, and then finally packaging it into a Docker file. All of these steps extend the shared Windows runner to associate the appropriate tags so they can run on a Windows shared runner. So here's some of the testing that we do for unit integration functional. And then here at your notice in the deploy job, I don't have an extend because I don't need a Windows runtime environment to simply execute a kubectl apply. And here I've associated what the deployment YAML looks like as well within the repo. In this instance, I'm just using uh, the same Docker file that we use for auto DevOps to deploy applications. So I'm simply recycling that runtime environment for the runner. And the last step I have here is a cleanup step, which basically deletes the deployment. The other thing that I wanted you to know is along with the tags that will associate the job to specific Windows runners, you also want to specify node selectors right here. So this will schedule your Windows container on the appropriate worker node. In this case, nodes with the tag Windows that were automatically provisioned for us when we created the Windows node pool. So now your deployment knows to execute and schedule um, the container and the application to the right node. So once all of that is set up, all you have to do is simply make a commit and it will then execute a pipeline. Here's a pipeline that I've already executed, which completed all the way. You can see the info, build, test, package, and deploy steps passed successfully. And if you go into the Kubernetes workload tab, you'll notice that the Windows app that was defined in the deployment YAML is up and running. And so the last step in the pipeline is the optional manual step if I wanted to delete and clean up the application. So I can go ahead and click play, just delete the app because I'm done with it. 
And then shortly thereafter, um, you'll see that the Windows application is no longer a workload running on Kubernetes.